as you guys can see I am preparing a very uh, heart uh, healthy uh, breakfast meal uh, before you know going to uh, uh, to Comic Con at home you know you can't go to Comic Con on an empty stomach hey yo, what up people it's me Krabby welcome back to another Krabby review Normally with the series, I try to limit it towards media, towards movies, TV shows, um, mostly uh, cartoons and anime. Sometimes I'll review something else that isn't, but I try to stay dedicated to that. But today we're going to do something that's a little different, because although we're still going to be talking about media, we are doing a review on a convention. Yes, today I am going to be reviewing my San Diego Comic Con Comic Con 2020 at home experience. Now, as y'all know, there is uh, this uh, little virus going around the world right now that's like, I don't know, killed uh, a few people. Uh, I don't know what the whole deal is about. And this virus has caused many of the biggest uh, geek conventions to close down, including Comic-Con. But the way they did it this year was, hey, wait a minute, why don't we bring Comic-Con at home? Why aren't you wearing your mask? And since it was free online, I decided to attend it myself. First, let me just say that there were a lot of panels and I mean a lot of panels it was like a buffet of panels it's like I couldn't attend everything at the same time I did get to attend the uh, um, the majority of them or at least the ones that um, I was interested in watching when they went live my favorite panel that I attended was the HBO Max and Cartoon Network Studios Infinity Train panel, where they revealed the trailer for Season 3. Now, if you guys remember my Book 2 review of Infinity Train, I had a lot of mixed feelings about where I thought the show was going. But now... With this new sneak peek into what season 3 holds, which is actually coming out next month. My expectations are like, just high, okay? My expectations are super high. I don't care if they're so high that they're going to leave me disappointed. I'm just expecting this to be probably the best season so far. Like, this might even be better than season the book 1. My least favorite panel that I attended was the Future of Entertainment. I didn't uh, not like this panel. It's just that compared to the other ones that I did decide to attend, I just wasn't um, as interested into it. I did enjoy all of the uh, tech um, that goes behind to uh, technology what the future of uh, technology could do for entertainment since I am in a uh, advanced technology program at school but aside from that uh, maybe I wasn't interested into the other stuff but I will say my favorite part of this panel was when that guy's avatar was doing 100 Fortnite dances at the same time I found it very educational. And again, all of these uh, panels, they're available completely free on YouTube in their entirety. Another thing that I find cool about uh, the whole at stay at home convention is that, of course, you know, the vendors and the uh, convention hall we're not there, obviously. So, in order to sell the uh, the merchandise, the whole vendor hall was also online. So, 
In order to end this review, I'm going to say that Comic-Con at home was a great experience. Sure, there were some mishaps that did happen along the way, but they're understandable. And it shows that the staff running uh, behind this uh, sure did put a lot of their time and effort into trying to give uh, people the same experience that they would get actually going to uh, to Comic-Con. So overall, I'm going to give Comic-Con 2020 4 out of 5 overpriced tickets. I mean, thank goodness that it was free this year.